Coach, uh, I know Bill said this was maybe you guys' best week of practice. Did you sense that during the week? Did you guys feel like you were Yes, I believe in more. Yes, sir, I do. I feel like we executed a lot during the week, and it was a lot of stuff we were putting in and trying new things. You know, we just had to pick that up. He was very confident putting in the game plan. We're competing very, very, very hard. You know, working on the details and fundamentals of how we play, and we was able to go out there and play fast. What, what was your reaction? They have you one on one, give you the the lot of cushion on your on your screen catch, the touchdown. I mean, um, I mean, I just be waiting whenever coach want to scope, right, so I'm gonna be there. So I just be waiting, and I mean, they gonna go out there and play that. We're gonna take what they give us, and you know, make them come out there and make a one on one tackle. About the the end zone, the one handed grab. What happened there? They left me one on one. I, mean, I don't really know what, what else to tell you, but yeah, they left me one on one. put the ball out there, and just make a play. What's it say about this team? You're down two starters at wide receiver, three receivers overall, and still, I mean, you come out. So many guys are involved. You put up 41 points. We got a lot of guys here. We got a lot of versatility. It's go past just the, what what people would put as the first team. I will receivers that back us up could start at different universities. So their 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 ability to remain humble and stay respect the game and stay humble to the work shows a lot. Because when people go down, they come up and you realize you might you forget you're missing somebody because the next man up is coming out there making the plays. Were you aware that Florida State hasn't had a lot of success against Wake Forest last year? Yeah. 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 But before that, I kind of. You know, a lot of times when they did play, I was able to watch it. So, you know, yeah, I've seen like the last, I think, three years or something like that. That's when I watched it. Yeah. They ain't the case with me. We're Florida State. We're back. How many times you practice that one handed catch in the end zone? Do you guys do and Travis just do it every day before practice? Every one handed catch? Or, yeah, was well, that the like first time a, you ever done it? No, nah, that ain't the first time. I would, but it's like it's hard to practice identical catches you'll do in the game because it's like if you're on the jug machine and you try something crazy you miss that one it's like you'll get that opportunity one time in a lifetime to make that like that regular catch but it look crazy but it's just a reactionary thing and just trying to find the ball that make the catch is it good for you guys to come straight out you know get right out of the gate you know somewhere that touchdown travis running for 13 yards yeah i mean we want to start fast saving. and finish fast so that that helped it up a lot amped up and we just got on the roll after that do you have a Johnny shirt on pregame? Yeah. Just kind of supporting him with him not being here? Yeah. And my dog, man. So, you know, making sure he know we still love him. He ain't make it, so I put this, put him on the shirt. He made it for, He made it with that with Jordan was going to you a lot early. Did you feel like you had to do a little bit more since you guys were short in the receiver? I wouldn't say had to do more, but it's just more so because I wanted to put the ball in my hands. and. That's pretty much all that was. The uh, the first uh, college football playoff rankings are come out on Tuesday. Is that something I mean? Are you gonna watch the show? Are you gonna pay attention at all? Or is it just about the work and worrying about y'all? What you mean, like the, the the first like they put the college football playoff rankings starting every week this week upcoming up. Is it show? Tuesday night on ESPN. Yeah. I probably ain't gonna watch it. <laughs> NBA should be on. <laughs> How did Jordan play that? It seemed like he had a pretty impressive day. Yeah, he did. I mean, he pretty much made all the right throws, all the right reads, and you know, just had fun. He was using his legs more, so I was happy. He was able to still get around, show he still got that burst of, burst of speed. As you see, you go rush the touchdown, so it was great to see. Does Trey ever try to race you? He looked pretty fast in that though. Yeah, he's fat when I win. We don't do all that racing stuff. Man. He he missing speed, man. He can have it. But I never, you know, what I'm saying I ain't gonna say I run. I'm running 50 miles per hour, but I don't I don't race. We don't do that. But but him as a weapon, would you? How impressed were you by what he was able to do? Boy, I had 99 receiving yards as a running back. He ain't just a runner, but he can do it all. So it's just. It's great being on the field with those guys. And it's hard trying not to get caught up watching them in the game, you know what I'm saying? Watching them make the play. So it's just like, it's just surreal. Knowing how hard Trey has worked, um, catching the ball and having up the road a few games ago, like the seniors have gone that way and had that success against Yeah, I mean, it means a lot, especially for him, but more so for the team. We can trust keeping him on the field all three downs and just building that confidence within himself that he can make those plays and continue to be on the field. So that was just, it was fun to see him come out of the shell, receiving the ball like that and just make a play. It seems like you spent a lot of time helping Deuce, um, Florida to play receiver. Like how much fun have you had watching him return these kicks and make, contribute? I mean, I, like he always said, he want to take them all back. I'm like, once you get comfortable back there, you're going to be all right, bro, because you're going you're gonna to lie on your speed, your legs, your vision to do everything else, and your instincts. So just go out there and just continue getting a feel for the game, and it's all going to come to you.
And Coach Norvell said it feels like you guys still have a lot of room to, to get better. Do you see that? Is definitely, that you? definitely. Because look at it, Jaheim Bell, uh, he didn't have the greatest game, you know what I'm saying? But he still contributed. And, you know, when everybody's having great games, it's, it's scary. But we have yet to put that on tape. So when we do, it's going to be scary for whoever on the other side of the field.